something, few words from the Avaduta Gita before we go to lunch. Beautiful. Hmm? Uh, what I'm about to read you is not a teaching. It's not a teaching. Uh, these words are like uh, some spontaneous utterances that are emanating out of that heart which is full of joy and at the same time totally empty. Our own perfect being. Such are the words of the Avadut. So just I uh, read a few words to you. He says, In me, ignorance and knowledge never arise. I never allow myself to experience those states. How then could I speak of not knowing or knowing? My nature is freedom. There is no maya for me. I am not bound to righteousness. I am not bound to sin. I am not bound to bondage nor to liberation. Neither of these affects me at all. My nature is freedom. There is no maya for me. Inferior or superior have no meaning to me. I have no enemies, nor have I any friends. How then could I speak of the good or the evil? My nature is freedom. There is no maya for me. There is nothing that pervades and nothing that is pervaded. There is neither manifestation nor demanifestation. How then could I speak of the void or its opposite? My nature is freedom. There is no maya for me. Truly, I am neither a perceiver nor an object of perception. I am not a cause nor am I any effect. How then shall I say that I am the knower or the known? My nature is freedom. There is no maya for me. There, they are, there is no superimposer and nothing superimposed upon. I am neither the knower nor the object of knowledge. How then could I speak of creation or dissolution? My nature is freedom. There is no maya for me. I have no body, nor am I without bodies. I have neither intellect, nor mind, nor senses. How then could I speak of attraction or repulsion? My nature is freedom. There is no maya for me.
sake.